Hello and welcome back to another Pokemon card opening. Geg89 here and today I have a Japanese mail day. Um, it arrived today and yeah so we're just going to get into it. I have a quick look at an overview and I'm going to like unpack it because um, it makes things easier. So and then I'm going to go onto the desk so you can kind of see what's going on. So I'm going to remove some stuff. Let's put it aside. Um, I'm not going to go through these in the actual video. I'm just going to show them now. You kind of know what these are. VMAX, Climax, booster boxes. So we've got three there. Um, five here. Probably going to do an opening um, of a box or two, even though I shouldn't, because I've opened so many. Um, here we have the Starbirth booster box. Might open one of those and keep the other one and do some do something else with it. I don't know. It was just a reasonable price. It was if I can get a booster box for like retail price, which is about thirty five pounds, I think roughly thirty five pounds in Japan. Add postage and add 20% VAT if I can get it for around £45 that's pretty much a bargain £45 shipped to my door that's a big bargain two four six eight who do we appreciate eight eight boxes of VMAX Climax so we now have eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen we have sixteen sixteen boxes of VMAX Climax Sorry, a bit. I'm very professional. Right, so. Ah, sleeves, get the sleeves. I'm just gonna bring you down a bit. So, as you've seen, we've got a bunch of VMAX Climax Max booster boxes. We have two Starbirth and three packages. I thought. Honestly, I thought this opening was a bit bigger than this. Anyway, let's find out, shall we? So, we'll start by opening this. Don't know if you can see that. I'm only got the sleeve just in case because sometimes the Japanese sellers, if you buy bulk cards or just a single, they don't sleeve it. So, As you can see here, we have two. Hmm. Two PSA cards. Um, Suicune, Mint 9. So, sorry, I'm just looking at it. That's a nice card. I, I do. I, I'm a massive fan of Suicune. I think this was, this was a really cheap card. Let's say. I don't know what it was. I'd have probably paid about 25, 30 pounds at the most. This one here though, it seems to have a lot, it's got to be, yeah, I don't know if you can, kind of, um, I don't know if that helps. Yes, it does. You see there, quite a lot of white in there, which leads me to believe this is an eight. I know you're thinking, well, you bought the thing, you should know. I have a feeling it's an eight. Flary on alternate art, maybe? No. This is a nine sweet gun. That's not a nine. That is not a nine. Wow. Jeez, that is terrible. Okay. Gonna have to. That's. I need to keep an eye out for this because I bought a few PSA cards in Japan and if that's the kind of. That's. What they give for a blue for a nine? That's not a nine. Uh, anyway, sorry. Um, that's terrible. Um, yeah, right. Okay, right. Back on track. Back on track. Back on track. <clears throat> What's everyone else been buying? I know no one comments on my videos, uh, but 
I'm gonna ask anyway. Um, what you been buying? You know, what you after? What are your goals? What do you collect? English, Japanese, Korean. What ooh, what do you collect? Peeps, graded, ungraded, draw, binder cards. Um, yeah. Who I know what this is. Can you guess what card I've picked? And no, it's not the Marnie. Yes, in fact, it is the Pikachu. I love this card. Wait, there's three cards in here. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, I believe there's the Pikachu V in here as well. Let's get it out. Yeah, there we go. So we have the Pikachu. Does it have a print lines on it? What kind of condition is it? Because I really want to get some of these bad boys graded. That's why I'm trying to buy them. They're really nice. Not this fella. But it's kind of cool. This fella here. I want, I want some nines and tens of this fella. It's a, such a nice... I think it's such a nice card. It reminds me of the um, Umbreon in um, Heavy Heroes. Anyway, sorry. I could look at that for a while. So yeah, that's that. We have... Um, I have a card here, sleeved, which is nice. Right. Take your guess, based on my other videos, which you may well have not watched. Is it going to be um, an alternate art from Eevee Heroes, or another Pikachu? Or not? <laughs> Didn't expect that. Nice gold star Umbreon. I really want the original gold star. I mean, I've got the English one um, of celebrations, but I want the actual one. Before COVID hit, I was uh, looking into buying like a, an eight or nine, and I mean, they were a few thousand, but I mean, they weren't that bad price wise. And I was so tempted, and I nearly did. I was kind of watching one, and I was like, oh, you want it? And then kind of COVID hit, and I thought I'll wait and see if it all crashes down, and it did not crash down. Everything shot up, so I missed out. I missed out on a few things, to be honest, like we all did. Um, so might have to downgrade to an eight. Let's try try for an eight, maybe at best. Even then, that's going to be pushing it. Very expensive. Another, another one. Beautiful. I think I prefer the English version. I I uh, prefer the original version from Pop Five, but um, yeah. Have we got? Is this going to be a Shining Magic app? I, I I don't like it when they put in these tiny things because when you pull it, it can mess up the edges. So that's why I just like to cut the top off. I've got to get the can out safely. Oh no! Okay. CSR Sylveon. Not sleeved though. Looks in reasonable condition. Maybe. Could be mint. Could be near mint. But yeah, I'm going to have to sleeve that up off camera. Actually, I'll put a couple of cards down. Just so you can... Something to look at instead of just a, a white doodah. Right, there you go. I have a feeling we've got some more CSRs coming up. Sylveon's, Pikachu's, maybe. Um, what else is there? Let's have a look. Shining Magic Caps. Shining Magic Cap, there you go. Nice, nice. I'll speed up a little bit. You don't want to hear me rambling on about note. This could be another Shining Magic Cap. I oh, know there's multiples, so it could be. No. CHR. Flareon, very nice. Now, this card, let's have a look at the condition. Ooh, little nick down there. Let's have a look. Whee. Yeah, I've. Could, could, based on the back, could maybe squeeze a 10 if it's lucky, depends on the front. Yes, indeed, this is. The Japanese stamp box promo card. One of them. The not the Pikachu one. This was really cheap. I mean the bo 
box stamp box goes for 110 to 130 roughly in uh, Japan and I got this which means if you half it you know the promos are what 50 60 50, we'll call them 50 pounds a pop uh, conservatively saying that the stamps have a value and the other stuff you know like 20 pounds maybe anyway um so yeah i got this less than 50 pounds so i thought that was pretty much a bargain there's a, as i said there's a little low white bit down there which could be a nine but i mean either way it's still it's very cheap last batch now i i thought i had more i think this was just the um booster box mainly a booster box lot i have a ton of singles coming a well, not coming. I've got a ton of singles waiting to be shipped to m to the middleman and then shipped out to me when I'm ready. Um, oh, okay, okay. Which is quite exciting, actually. I mean, I really went ham. I really went ham. So we have here. <laughs> I can get into it. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know what that is. Um, this is the Umbreon. This is what I was meaning that these two kind of look similar. Well, the similar kind of style. Uh, I know it's five band graphics and a lot of people don't like it. But I, these two, I am a massive fan of. I really like it. I really like it. Alright, let's have a look at what else we've got. Maybe 10 more cards, and then that's done for this mail day. I'm probably going to open a VMAX Climax box or so. I believe we've got CHRs, CSRs, celebrations um, to come, and maybe another Pikachu. Maybe another Pikachu. Another Umbreon, beautiful. Again, really like the card. That's why I made. That's why I bought it. Oof. Cut a bit too close to the cards there. I should probably concentrate. More Flareon CHRs. Um, what we've got here. A couple more cards left, and we're done. Oh, what is going on there? I don't like the look of that. Let's get this. Sorry, concentrating. <clears throat> Right. I don't think the cards even is it sleeved? Yes, it is sleeved. That's that's something. Oh. What's this? Is going to be the Sylveon? No, another Magic Arp, Shining Magic Arp celebration. This looks reasonable though. At first glance, I mean, you can't really. <clears throat> Very warm, very warm in my house today, so quite subdued. More CHRs, um, just pop them up there. Don't worry now, it's nearly over, nearly over. Two cards, two cards left. Sylveon, ah, yes, my first one. I do not own any others of these, I have. Multiples of all of the others, but I do not didn't have a single Sylveon because they were slightly more expensive. I mean, the other ones I was could pick up for, you know, like seven, eight quid. This this uh, this little creature was ooh, fifteen maybe, maybe a bit more. So I think I got one quite cheap. I say cheap. I mean, it was probably fifteen pounds. Let's get a sleeve for this card, which is not sleeved. I don't like it when they don't sleeve. 
Oof, Umbreon unsleeved as well. Ouch. Anyway, quite a nice uh, sing lot of single cards, to be honest. Uh, it, seemed, it didn't seem like there was going to be that many, but in fact, there were quite a lot. So what do you think? Um, what was your favourite card or cards from this opening? Um, do you agree that this is, that is not a nine? There's some kind of other... There's issues down there. There's issues down there. A little issue down there. A load of whitening up there. This is a bit of whitening there. Whitening there. This this is an 8. This is an 8, I think, at best. What about the centering? Centering seems alright. No, there's... Yeah, that's coming through from that side. Yeah, this is no way that's a 9. I'm going to have to maybe contact PSA about that. And be like, yo, sort this out, man. And then in three years' time, they'll get back to me. <clears throat> Anywho, you've uh, listened to my boring, groaning voice. Um, haven't been particularly entertaining. Um, I apologise. Maybe next time, I'll try and pick it up. Try and be more inflection in my voice. Uh, and be a bit more interesting. So, yeah, let me know what I could do to improve apart from, you know, well, as well as my um, droning voice. I'm trying to make things a little bit more interesting, something, you know. But, again, beautiful bunch of singles. Love it. I love it. That's what I've been doing mainly. Mainly singles and some uh, sealed products like the VMAX Climax and stuff like that. Just to open now and again, maybe sell some... Uh, Maybe sell it on to get my, some of my money back and uh, rinse and repeat, buy some more cards. Anyway, thank you for viewing. Um, sorry if it was a bit of a dull video. Hope there's some cards that you like. Feel free. Well, it's a bit late now. I can say. Put me on mute and just watch. Um, watch the cards come rolling through. I appreciate every one of you, all six or seven of you that view this. Uh, feel free to comment. I don't really get many, or if I don't get many comments. Um, yeah, I just do this for fun, to be honest, and a bit of a record for um, cards and things that I've purchased, so I can look back at it in the future and go, oh yeah, this is what I bought. Oh yeah, um, for my record, let's quickly, I apologise, I believe I paid around from 12 to £15 pounds for that, um, 25 to 30 for this, let's call it 28 Um about £13 for this I think these guys were 20 low 20s these guys were I'm going to say they're about four, five pounds each this fella 12 to 15 again I'm going to say 12 to 15 um, that's what I'm kind of looking for oh, oh, maximum £15 uh, obviously as cheap as possible. Same with this shiny magic cap. Um twelve to fifteen pounds. And I said Yeah, twelve to fifteen. We'll say we'll go we'll go on the higher end and go fifteen pounds because it could have been a little bit more. This fella I'm gonna say fifteen pounds. These guys four pounds four pound fifty. And again another Umbreon we'll say around twenty to twenty two pounds. Um, these guys are usually I'd say £10 for the card £15 for grading that's £25 and then a small premium so um, I'll probably pay up to 30 to £35 uh, per card um, is what I think I'd go for the VMAX Climax boxes uh, from £45 to £50 each and the Starbirth booster boxes, uh, again, I was aiming for around £45, which is the Japanese price plus postage plus VAT shipped, packed, and to my door, £45 is a bargain. So roughly what I'm aiming for with these kind of newer booster boxes in Japan. Um, if I can get them any cheaper, I, of course I will. But... 45 to 50 pounds is a very good price i believe for a new set from japan shipped packed and shipped to my door uh this fella i believe 
it was around £35. Can't, don't hold me to that, but I know it was under 50 which is kind of what I would maximum want to pay for one of these promos. I'm going to say £35, roughly. Um, yeah, sorry for that very quick thing when I was just about to shut the video off, but for my own record, and if in case anyone's interested, it give you kind of a rough price of what I'm paying from Japan. That's shipped to my door. That's, you know, there's no extras on top of that. That is what I paid overall. Um, yeah, anyway, I've rambled on enough. Thank you for viewing. Please feel free to check out any of my other videos. Um, yeah, have a great morning. Have a good morning, good afternoon, and a good night. I will see you later. Thanks.